let's take a look at three different types of cost behavior. These are critical for forecasting and budgeting. The first type is a fixed cost. So as you can see on the graph, the cost does not change on the vertical axis as the volume of output increases on the horizontal axis. An example for this would be office rent. No matter how many units of production a company has, its head office is not changing and that rent that's monthly is exactly the same. It has no impact on the volume that's outputted. Then there are variable costs. As you can see in this chart, the cost is a linear line and it increases as volume outcreases with a consistent ratio. Now, we'll get into this later. The line may not always be straight. It may not always be a linear relationship, but let's assume that in the simplest terms, it is. An example of this would be credit card processing fees on a transaction. Imagine a retail business that sells a product and the credit card companies charge 3% for every transaction. There is a direct correlation between the number of units sold and the credit card fees that the company will occur as the credit card transactions double, the cost double. So that's a simple example of a variable cost. And finally, there's semi-variable, or sometimes called semi-fixed, where you have a combination of fixed and variable costs. What this typically means is that a cost is fixed up until a certain point and then becomes variable. As an example, imagine an assembly line of workers. There is a baseline number of workers required to run the assembly line. With very small units of output, that cost is fixed, and output can increase up until the assembly line reaches its threshold for the number of workers. Then they may need to add additional workers on top, so you get that variable cost kicking in over a certain level of production, but with zero production, there is still a baseline fixed cost for that assembly line. So we need to think carefully when forecasting about whether costs are fixed, variable or semi-variable. Think about your organization. What are the fixed costs? Make sure you've clearly identified them. Then identify all the variable costs. And finally, think about some that may be a combination of the two.